This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Who in their right mind would want a small, lightweight two-seater that's only big enough for two people and has enough cargo space for small to medium-sized duffel bags and maybe a picnic basket? And who in this era of crossovers, four-passenger mid-sized sedans, and even electric-powered vehicles even cares about driving a small block open roadster with a six-speed manual transmission? The answer is a fanatical group of loyalists for whom the Mazda MX-5 Miata is a throwback to pure sports cars that demanded engine management skills, tight steering, and a love of roads like this in the North Georgia mountains near LJ. This is the third generation of the MX-5, which is 25 years old. But of course, there are some contemporary features in this platform, which has stayed true to its roots over the years. One we actually liked is a power retractable hardtop instead of the traditional canvas cloth arrangement. The top, which folds neatly into the trunk, is only available in the top of the line Grand Touring version. You would think this much extra sheet metal in the motor to operate it would make the car unwieldy, but at 2619 pounds, it's still extremely nimble. Mazda designers say the next generation of the MX-5 will be 200 pounds lighter. Our test car came with the best drivetrain available for the platform. It's a chain-driven 2-liter aluminum block engine. Matched with a 6-speed manual transmission, it turns out 167 horsepower and 140 foot-pounds of torque. This is set up with a fuel injection system that's supposed to get 28 miles to the gallon on the highway. But as you can see, we did a lot better than that. The next version will get the Skyactiv makeover, including a turbo which will improve fuel economy and deliver a performance boost. We did enjoy what the current power plant can do when pushed a little beyond posted speed limits. Now once the MX-5 is loaded up with Bilstein shocks and very sticky 17-inch street tires, there is near perfect balance of road feedback and control. Since the British roadsters that pioneered this kind of car are gone, and domestic efforts to mimic it have fallen flat, the MX-5 will remain the icon on how to build and design a small, affordable two-seater that makes driving a personal and an occasionally romantic experience. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.